This is The Spear, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17. In our last episode, we went through the first tutorial of arable farming. I learned some of the basics of the game. Uh, cultivating, uh, sowing, sowing, I guess it's sowing, uh, harvesting, and uh, when to plow. Did a little bit of that. Uh, today we're going to take out fertilizing. Learn how to fertilize your fields to get the maximum yield. Today is fertilizing. You can place bee houses, solar panels, oh, all kinds of things on your farms. All right. Greenhouses let you produce tomatoes or lettuce. All right, got that. And what other advice do they have? Yeah. Greenhouses also need manure. Okay. All right. Welcome to the second tutorial. You'll learn how to fertilize your field for the highest possible yield. This seems uh, relatively straightforward. Get on the tractor and attach the weight and the manure spreader. Just like in the first tutorial. Tutorial. Alright. Just like in the first tutorial. Back up. Attach. Pull forward. Get the weight. Where's the weight? There's the weight. Manure is a good fertilizer. Smelly but economical. Cows and pigs make manure. Select the manure spreader, turn it on, and then distribute it rigorously. Okay, let's... I guess that's what they want me to do. Distribute it... <laughs> vigorously let's pull up a little before I distribute it all over the uh, I guess it comes out the back all right let's get the back a little closer to the field all right turn on um, it's always the hard part holy mackerel that, that is uh, yeah, that's spreading it. All right. I guess it's spreading it all over. Well done. By doing this, you added nutrients to the soil, making it more fertile. I'd hate to be behind this thing now. It's just going on. All right. Every time the soil is worked or plants are growing, you will be able to add another layer of fertilizer. To get the best yield, you should fertilize the field three times during the growth cycle. All right. There's different kinds of fertilization. Slurry. Um, this sounds even worse than the last one. But again, it's the same thing. Yep. All right. Well, see, once you get the hang of um, these things... which I have gotten, sort of. I'm not saying definitely, but kind of. The last, <laughs> the last video had a little bit of a problem as I... Uh, did I turn that on? The last video... Oh, lower weight. Oh, change tool. There you go. The last video had a bit of a problem as I was... Uh, Learning how to... Okay, so this just spreads it out. Left and right. I don't know how slow or fast I should go. Last video is I was... Didn't understand any of the buttons to press, but now I'm getting the real hang of driving these things. Another job well done. More nutrients equal more crops. What do we have here? A weeder. All right. It needs no refill. It doesn't make sense. It needs no refill if you can't fill it. Unlike the two previous ways, but the downside is that it can only be used at one specific stage in the growth cycle. Only once the new plants have sprouted 
but before they've grown too tall. Makes sense. If they haven't sprouted, you'll dig them up like weeds. And if they're too tall, you'll run them down. Attach the weight and the weeder and then unfold it and drive. All right. Uh, attach. Let's see here. I had to unfold the harvester. So we're used to doing that. All right. Got the weeder. Oop. Got the weight. Which do I do first? Do I unfold? Yeah, I unfold first. And then I lower. Wow. This is a this weeder is wide. Woof. I'm gonna do the whole feel on this. And hold on. Alright, there we go. Then we will lower it. And let's get going. Now we weed. Weeding animation isn't excited as exciting as the other ones. Are these weeds? Excellent. Weeders are quite well suited to meadows since grass continually grows and the weeder can be used often as grass is less delicate than crops. Why would I... I guess I weed meadows. I don't know why I would weed meadows. All right. Next up, manufactured fertilizer. Relatively expensive, but more concentrated. I might have to do this first because, well, I don't know if I'll have any animals. I guess if you don't have animals, you're not using animal products to fertilize. Got that. Let's pull up, get the weight. Got that. All right, get a little closer. What do I do? Lower this thing? Lower and turn on. I don't need to open the cover, that's to fill it up. Lower, turn on. Oops. Turn, oh, lower, turn on. Wow. All right. I used one of these things before. Well, considerably smaller just to do the grass in the wintertime, give it some feeding. That's it. Quite quick, wasn't it? They were all quick. The last and maybe most interesting way to fertilize, well, we'll see about that, is through the use of a catch crop. In our case, the fast-growing oil sea radish. It takes some extra time investment, but it's also on the cheaper side. They talked about this before, that you plant this after a harvest. There you go. After a harvest, you can sow oil seed, oil seed radish instead of a crop you intend to harvest. Once the radishes have started growing, all you need is to break down and burrow them into the ground, destroying them, but leaving a lot of organic material and nutrients in the soil. Yeah, they talked about that before. All right, let's attach this. There's the weight. I've given up on first person view. I did not like it in the tractor. Just was not fun. All right, what am I doing here? Lower. Keep forgetting to change the tool. Lower the cultivator. So the cultivator, which I used, which was the very first tool I used, is just going to tear up these radishes, put them back into the ground. I guess I don't plow them; I cultivate them. That's an important difference I should remember. Or maybe I could plow them. They weren't very specific on what to do. All right, so I've got this set. 
Let's lift that back up. Do another path. Alright. So, digging up these oil seed radishes is going to make my ground better. I wonder how long it takes to grow like that. See, that's a lot of information that I'm not getting. There is a PDF that came with this. Instructions on how to farm. Which I should probably look at. <laughs> that would be a good idea. There you go. Another way to fertilize the soil quite biologically. I guess if I can't afford fertilizer and don't have animals. Out of all the ways to fertilize, pick what you would like to do and can afford. But remember to fertilize three times during a growth cycle before the harvest to get the maximum yield. I hope the game will remind me of that. I'm not sure if it will or not. If you wish, you can try some more advanced and specific tutorials or head into career more mode and start farming your own land. Uh, we are going to do some more uh, tutorials. I want to do all the tutorials. I probably forget most of the information I learned, but since I've never done any farming, uh, I think it's best that I would do all the tutorials. I guess I could do them later. Like if I'm not going to have animals on the farm when I start my career I don't know what I have when I start my career so should I wait to do those when I get animals or will I start out with animals it's hard to say but that part was fertilizing we did arable farming we did fertilizing baling now I've watched people play this and apparently when you're harvesting there is something to do with baling um, after the harvest. You're right, I'm not going to do pigs and cows and forestry until I have pigs and I have cows and I have a forest. I don't, I, I don't know what I'm going to start with. But I think I've seen people doing baling after the harvest. So our next video is going to be baling. Learn how to make and transport bales. These this, these tutorials, I think, have been really good. I've learned a lot about the controls and what to do. So I'm sure there's a lot more that I need to learn, but so far I'm pretty happy with these tutorials. All right, this is the spear. Hoping you enjoyed fertilizing from Farming Simulator 17. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, uh, share with your friends, and subscribe to get more videos. Thanks for watching. This is the spear.